Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, I know what y'all get ready to say. I thought y'all were only doing P-Valley Live. Well, that's what we thought too. Yeah. But so. what had happened was this has been a chaotic weekend. Right. So we just gonna get it in how we can get it to fit in. So I hope you all forgive us. Maybe next week we'll come in live. We don't know. It just depends on what the weekend brings. But anywho, we're coming in with the last call for alcohol. Last call. Hey, listen. God darn it. We can't lose the paint. We already nah. lost the bishop on Greenleaf. Nah, we can't lose the paint. We can't. We don't went from church to the strip club. <laughs> Jesus, just spare us with something. Just We need something to hold on we to We need right deliverance now. for the pink. That's what we need. So, we seen last week. Well, not last week. Weekend for last. Speaking of last week, someone has sent me a link to the VIP permit, um, screening of something for P-Valley. I signed up, got my confirmation and everything, and they were supposed to send me an email when it was streamed. I ain't getting no, skipped. Yeah, yeah. So if you all were able to do the VIP and to do a private screening of something, y'all let me know in the comments. But I did it, and yeah. I never yeah. got an email saying, whoop, 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 nothing. So anyway, so two weeks ago, we saw when Andre was switching some things around because he didn't like how the Kyle brothers pretty much played him and had a gun to his head right. trying to make him <laughs> do what they want him to do. So he switched the skit around. Mad at it, but not mad at it. So now all of this thing though came to roost now. So now that the Kyle brothers are fully aware of what he did and that there is no sale, there is yeah. now a lease. lease. And y'all gonna it. get 1% of everything once everything goes blah, blah, blah. Y'all know. Yeah. So they pissed off about it. God daddy is sitting over in the cut like, ain't this about all but So I said, uh, how this gonna work out for you, Andre? It ain't work out good at all. Because once he had got the Kyle brothers to finally sign off on it, they realized that Corbin had already signed off yep. on the lease before them. So y'all know that this wasn't gonna go down without a fight. They already mad at Corbin about some skit. So now he the first person that signed off on this. Yeah. So he happy and willing and ready for this to happen. Okay. Long but story short, they don't ended up whooping his tail. Yep, whooped his asparagus. But they got a good deal though. Cause casinos make some got darn money. Get 1% of the sales? They could have negotiated way better than that, yo. 1%? Miss casinos do a, do a lot. That's still a very, that's almost like having no stake in the company. That's so like you think they should have got 5%? At least 5%. At least 5%. We talking business now. 1%, that's an insult. That's saying that you just got a, you just got enough skin in the game to get something out. Yeah, you just get one cent. Like, on it. One like cent said, for every dollar they make, you get one cent. Like the dude said, the cow brother said, y'all like to put sugar on shit <laughs> around here. <laughs> so once they left about their office, right, and that's when they went to whoop their brother's hom pods, God Daddy had a conversation with Andre, and he was like, listen, it seemed like there is some skit going on behind my back and a whole bunch of skit is being thrown up in my face and you the one driving the tractor trailer. Yeah. Like, what's up with this? So Andre was like, listen, what about the integrity that it takes to be a mayor of a city where you are looking out for your people instead of doing something that's going to hurt them? You over here scratching the backs of those people, of those crockers, that's what he called them, uh -huh. and not holding up for, um, standing up for your own people. God daddy is one of those people that you hate he, to agree with because he's so grimy. Yeah. But he has But he told all he told Andre the truth. He ripped Andre a new one. Now didn't he? Huh. God daddy reminds me of those dudes that will work a job under the table just so they don't have to have their whole check taken in child support. But once you listen to their story, you be like, I get it. They're taking your whole freaking check almost and you still gotta live. But it's still wrong because this is how you supposed gonna, to do it. I'm gonna tell you who God. Checks and balances. I'm gonna tell you who God. He 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 read Andre his freaking rice, but he did. Th but this is God daddy right here because he got to keep his freaking cool and make it look like he's trying to help his people. So you gotta always make it look like you trying to help your people, even though you're doing it on a grimy grimy level. But at the same time. He wanted the casino to go through because he lining his pockets with it too. Absolutely. So trust the casino ain't coming there just for you to help with the school system and help people get their jobs back. You're trying to line your own pockets too, player. So you mm -hmm. you ain't fooling me. You can't fool a fooler. <laughs> that ain't but, my line. That's somebody I know. I know that. it. Shout out to Jamal. <laughs> yeah. So 
But I like what God Daddy was saying. God Daddy was like, listen, listen. Since you want to talk about integrity and you want to look down at me for the way that I run business, let me quickly remind you that everything costs around here. Right. So you got to play this game to get what you want out of life. And that Morehouse education that you have, that your parents couldn't afford to take care of, God I did, did that. that. Yeah. So before you act like that I'm doing something wrong or I'm not good enough or my integrity is not on, is not where it's supposed to be, check yourself. Yeah. And I like what he told him. He said, I bought and paid for that crown that you wearing today. I said, oh. I said, oh. He said, off the backs of knuckles like me. Huh. They had to walk six miles to a good school so that you could wear that crown. I said, like, uh. <sighs> yeah, hit you kind of hard right there, man. Yeah. yeah. He hit you upside your oh, your face with a with a ceramic plate. <laughs> it ain't nothing you can do about it. None. Cause uh, it's all true. So now that we have this going on, so now he is supposed to be um goddaddy that is mayor. He's supposed to be on his way to the ribbon cutting because now everything has been signed and now this is supposed to be the next turn of events yeah. for everything to go into fruition. But no, no, no. Uh -uh. Eloise come in there. <laughs> that is such an old name. Eloise come in there and she was like, "Uh, about that ribbon cutting, that's postponed because yeah. something is going on. And he was like, so wait, what, it rained or something? He was like, she was like, uh, let cut, me show you. cut that 50, 50 inch on. <laughs> well, y'all know um, two weeks ago, Uncle Clifford, she went down there to the jail and got Patrice holier than thou rotten out of jail. Cause I was trying to figure out what in the world he was going. What trying she, to trying to figure out what she was going to do with that? Yeah. Well, they on TV out there, pretty much having a rally to get everybody to come down and sign a petition because they don't want the casino. And because Patrice's mouth is so big, that was Uncle Clifford's. Um, plan was to get on um, Patrice's get the Bible people behind her get the yeah. church folk behind her she, okay. they'll listen to her and then she could come in with the folks that that ain't Christian base and then I can get you to sign a see, petition over see, here see what he should have did was he should have did a TBN so oh. TBN will have the freak what they have every year the, the praise a thon but see they can have the pink a thon and they should have raised some money so they could buy the pink the next day <laughs> Pretty much. At the auction. That's what they should have did. So, we have Mercedes. Mercedes is in the check cash line or something like that. And she looks on the TV and she hears, well, she first hears her mother's voice. You know how her mama do. She she real Christian, but she uh -huh. real Southern Baptist. The love. <laughs> Shut up, Patrice. But at she the heard. casino. So she heard her voice, and then when she looked up at the TV, none other than Uncle Clifford to stand there with the mama, and she was like, hold on. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? When, when, did, when them two be cool enough to be on TV? And first of all, I left her in jail. So yeah. if she standing up there with you, then you had to be the one that yep. went up there and got her out. I mean, I would have been pissed off too, you know. Yeah, I would have been. It was a misunderstanding, but I would have been pissed off, you know. God don't, Uncle Clifford don't owe her no God don't explanation. She just trying to keep the pig going, right? Mike. That's all. Trying to keep the hoes fed. Right. And the babies fed, too. So, next thing we see, it's not the next thing we see, but this is the next thing we're going to talk about. Rewind. Y'all know Corbin got his tail kicked, right? <laughs> so, Uncle Clifford decided to go on over there. Listen, the outfits have been everything. She got an outfit for everything. Everything. A camo skirt, Timberland boots. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, Clifford, can't nobody do it like you. And did y'all notice that the lip gloss always match something up here? I said, I can't. But went over there to Corbin and was like, ho, ho, ho. So you're happy about this lease, right? But then Corbin was like, but the peak won't ever on my radar to keep in this lease deal. So Clifford was like, so 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 what am I supposed to do? Right. I want a piece of that leasing um deal too. And Corbin was like, You're not gonna get from these white folks what they can get yeah, for, for free. free. And pretty much talking about eminent domain. Right. So oh Clifford said, So are you gonna give me the money to keep the paint open? I Corbin ain't got was no like, money. I ain't got no money like that. 
So, well, I would hate for those um, pictures of when you got your hind pots kicked in my club and came all over yourself. I would hate for those to get out. So, so you trying to blackmail me? Like, mm -mm. Nah, but what I know you bet not ever do. But not ever come up in the pink again. Period. I say, yeah. So, Corbin, that little place that you hide out in because nobody else accepts you, they no longer accept you. Right. How does that feel? So we have Little Murder, right? He is working with his producers and all of that. And come to find out, Little Murder has stage fright. Like, he got in the studio and he made that banger. But that's been it. Yeah. So now it's murder night. And he can't he, he even ready. can't face the crowd for nothing. So Mississippi was like, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea that will get you out of yourself. And so that you can focus on the crowd of about 300 people that's going to be here. Little Murder's like... You 300 people? I feel them, though. I, I used to hate talking in front of people, man. The crazy thing about it is, give me a crowd of five, I'm sweating. Give me a crowd of 100, I'm good. It's the I'm craziest thing way. ever. I'm sweating either way. But, I, just, I just learned how to do escape. Pretty much. Yeah. So, she decided that she was going to take Little Murder and put him up on the platform. <laughs> put him up on the stage and just strip him butterball naked. And was like, this is the way that you're going to get over yourself and concentrate on what you up here to do and the people that's watching you do it. She was like, what I do, I can't focus on me being scared. I have to get out of my own head and do what it is I need to do. So it worked. Yeah. Well, he ripped it then. He ripped it and he bent it all down. And I said, little murder, you over here talking all this cash money skit to um, Uncle Clifford about your stuff being so big. You don't bent all the way over. We don't see you squatting. I ain't seen nothing happen. Lies be lies be lies. It always be the ones that's hollered about their size be the ones that lie. <laughs> but anyway, that was just me being a female because I was looking. <laughs> yeah, you would. I knew you was. <laughs> so, I mean. Should have bought a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> <So> Hunter. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> so, Uncle Clifford came to the pink. It ended up having a conversation with Old Sheriff. Now, you know Old Sheriff been being paid off by Old Clifford for years and years and years because they ain't supposed to be having no titties. No, no I, 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 yeah. So this time, Sheriff was like, I can't take your money, Old Clifford, because the mayor has been on my A about whatever it is that y'all did to piss him off. I can't do it. And y'all place going up on the auction block tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to. To take care of you Man. like I used to do. So you better make sure tonight there ain't no titties or no alcohol to be found. Or I'm going to have to shut this kid down. I say, well, I'll be darned. So Clifford goes inside. And there is Mercedes. Mercedes. Waiting. Hot. On fire. <laughs> oh, Clifford said, Big Al, did I tell you? you don't let nobody up in here? You ain't even doing your job. But before this even had happened, Sheriff ended up getting a sneak peek. At Miss Autumn. Autumn pulls up at the club in her beat up car. Now, here's my thing. Okay, this is just me thinking as a criminal. If I know that I have been doing wrong, and it may not be wrong per se, like against the law or whatever, it, it could be, I don't know. Hmm. But she knows that she has been taking money on top of money on top of money in a way that's a little suspect. So you know at some point, things are going to come The chickens going to come roost. Yeah, exactly. So you mean to tell me that you pull up in the parking lot, see the cop car. And you just get out And you all, just casually get, get out. Get out all like, willy-nilly and everything. I, I, yeah. I've been around some folk that if they see cop car headlights three miles behind them, yeah, they're going to be nervous and, sweat, and sweating. But you just, nervous. you just pooch on in to the paint. And he went into his glove box and... Peek the picture. So we know that he going to go back and he going to call Mr. Martavius, Octavius, whatever his name is, yep. and tell him exactly where he saw you at. Yep. Because he already came to the police station looking for you with that tear in his eye. I'm crying. Yeah. I said, all right. So Mercedes is having the conversation where Clifford was like, how dare you betray me like this and go and have a conversation with the enemy that tried to, that, that stole my money and stole my um gym. How you going to do something like that? Uncle Clifford was like, listen, I got a big mouth, but your mama's mouth is bigger. bigger. <laughs> and what I was trying to do was trying to save the paint. 
but it didn't work. No. We're going to lose this paint, and she got the crime. And Marseille was like, ho, 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 ho. What is rules such and such? No they crime. got a lot of rules. <laughs> I said, how, how, how far did they go? Him, yeah. Say no crying at the paint. Say, all right, I got it. Say, so now that you finished crying, what you fitting to do? I yeah. said, that's, that's a word right, right there. Right that's there. a word right there. Because we good at crying, but we just ain't, we ain't good at coming up with a plan to move forward. But Uncle Clifford uh, said something that was powerful. Like, if I lose this, I have nothing. And that's definitely a life lesson right there to not put all your eggs in one basket, man. Heck but yeah. but as we learned a few episodes ago, that Uncle Clifford pretty much got this from his grandma. So, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> generation, see, see, we always like to talk about generational wealth. But we don't like to talk about generational curses, curses yeah. generational debt, generational bad habits. Right. Things that we have learned, like you, like back in the day, how many of y'all remember Highland Miles? When y'all used to go to Highland Miles and put furniture on credit. Yup. And, and pay $2 a week. And then you never paid for it. Yup. And then if you were lucky, you could get away with not paying for it because you moved and they couldn't find you. But then they come but, and repossess your skit. But see, some of them might not know about Highland Miles because that was like kind of like a country thing. Hangs. I know y'all know about Hangs. You had to have a little bit of credit to have Hanes, but I'm going to tell you something that I know you can relate to. Rental center. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you <laughs> you bought that couch for five times. Paid $22 a week. Yep. For that raggedy couch. And then we don't want to talk about all these Finger Hut orders now. Oh, man. I don't know how we got down that rabbit hole right there, <laughs> but Finger Hut will rob you blind. And, and I couldn't find out they still exist. Yeah, and I, I know, know that. people who still order from them. That's it. You know you can like save that money yourself and buy whatever it is that you wanted exactly. within 30 days. But you paying for it for like 120 days? Because it's only five dollars a week. Whatever. <laughs> a mess. A mess. So Oh Clifford had a conversation with Mercedes and was like, listen, now that we don't finish crying, we don't did all this, if we gonna go out and we gonna put um the paint into the grave, we might as well do it with a bank. So I'm gonna need my bottom bit to come through. Do what she does best, shake her A. Mercedes was like, like, no, 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 no. I told you, I ain't coming back. Uncle Clip said, uh-uh. Uh, all this skit I did for you. you? And you gonna leave them in the cold? You owe me. Your family? Oh, no, you gonna do this. And she couldn't say no. So next day we know she in the back and she's asking old girl, say, look, make me some good old floss. So that when... But they were happy to see Mercedes come back. I, was, I, 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 I thought they was gonna be mad. Because of everything. And then yeah. I thought that her and Mississippi was going to clash like yeah. this. And she was happy to see her too. Yeah. I said, okay, I, I like this. Because I, like I was this. like, how is we going to have Mercedes back and have Murder Night featuring Mississippi and you got Mercedes the headliner back? How is that going to work? We still don't know how we that's going to work. Have, yeah. So this said we know Uncle Clifford. She starts off with this prayer. And she prayed over each and every dancer there. Every bouncer, yep. Everybody told Diamond and uh, I guess say Diamond and Silk. <laughs> <laughs> told Diamond and uh, Big Al, don't you let nobody in here without well, signing that petition. petition. I said, good move. That was a good move because they don't want to get in there. Told one of the dancers, said, listen, I already know. I can see that bump. You not dancing on skit. You getting behind the bar? <laughs> no, no, no. And was what is that? In the name of the Father, the Son, and A and Titties. <laughs> Amen. So we see Mississippi still getting her tail whooped. Yeah. She can't find the right color to, to cover up her bruises. So um, other girls said that she had her. They went out, um, and then she ended up going outside because her nerves was getting bad. So no, you know Diamond has a really soft place in his mm -hmm. heart for Mississippi. I real they, soft. I hope they get together real talk. And he was like, you know what? This is what you need. He took his crystal necklace um, off of his neck and gave it to her. It's like, this necklace gives you courage. You know, when I was over in Iraq or Afghanistan, when I'm... I said, that's why you crazy. Yeah, that's why you're <laughs> a little touch. That's why you crazy. You're a little touch. Yep. So, um, say, you know, this has kept me safe. Well, kind of. Well, the guy that gave it to me, he got killed saving me, but that don't matter. Here you go. I was like, <laughs> so did this mean that something going to happen to Diamond? 
Because that's what I got out of this. Oh, that's what you got? I got out of it that whoever passes this on to you, something about to happen to them. No, I just got out of it that Donald about ready to whoop whoever that dude that's whipping her I tail. Hope so. Tail. That's what I got out of it because they were getting ready to kiss. So, yeah, and they was about to kiss and have this real good moment. And Gidget come out there with, she her, hot. with her horny tail because her dude don't call her and told her he can't make it. But we already know what that deal is, right? Him and Big Al is working to yeah. run pills and drugs through. I'm like, but you ain't got one day to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, I don't have time for this. I'm, I'm sexually, sexually frustrated. frustrated. I was like, oh, you just want some dang line. That's what your problem is. I said, get yourself shot and pull her panties to the side. Fast. I said, oh, okay. So so Diamond and um, Mississippi didn't get to have a special moment. So now we at this point where everybody is coming to the paint. They had that joke packed out. Now, didn't they? I said, okay, okay. <laughs> so we have um, Lil Murder. Lil Murder don't swept <laughs> Uncle Clifford away all the way down through the, the woods, the valleys, the hills, and the mountains. There's no mountains. But all the way down there, Uncle oh, Clifford says, so, nigga, are you trying to drown me? Like, <laughs> what, I've been what the hell? Where the hell we going? I've been baptized before when the skit didn't work. What are you trying to do? This fool don't did the most hood <laughs> skit I have seen in my frigid life. Don't came there and said, I want you to see the stars. And I, and, and in my head, I was like, so oh, so I got a blanket on, on the ground. I thought he was going to take him to that spot, take her to the spot where, uh, Autumn, Autumn has been. Yeah. That's why I thought no, that was no, going. No, no, oh, no. no. That makes too much sense for Little Myrtle. <laughs> Little Myrtle don't stole on Clifford Cock and don't got it down in the woods some kind of way. <laughs> he said, how the hell you, how the hell you get my car? He's, He's just I stole, stole it. <laughs> and don't put Christmas lights on All like, up in the room. I said. So, hey, hey, but low key, I want to do that in my car. You better not. <laughs> You better not. And um, I'll invite you on out there, man. To do what? So huh? we smoke blood? I mean, we can do much more than that. They did much more than that. Fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they're in the back of the car and they just chopping it up, chatting. And Little Murder is asking Uncle Clifford, are you <clears throat> really okay though? Uncle Clifford said, listen, I'm okay today because I choose to be okay today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I might need you. Because tomorrow I'm probably not going to be okay. But I have to be okay today because I need to make sure that they are okay tonight. So whatever it is that you are holding to console me with today, hold that. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that for tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I rock well on Clifford, man. I said, oh, that, yeah. right? So, and of course, you know, Lil Murder is trying to, trying to get a little quickie and a quickie. It, it, Uncle Clifford was like, mm -mm, I ain't got no time for this. I got to go back up there and make sure my skin is right. But you know that one touch does something. And then one touch did something. And the next thing we know, we saw windows, <laughs> finger, handprints in the windows. And I was like, oh, yeah, it, it, it's going down. But yeah. then in my mind, I said, it's not like Lil Murder has been saying he wanted to keep this thing a secret. It's been a secret because Uncle Clifford was like, it's safe for the both of us to keep this thing a secret. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, how are you going to get out the woods when and nobody, nobody sees see you? you? Yeah. And this is the time where the crowd starts rolling in. So, like, are y'all coming up through the woods separately? Like, what's happening here? Well, no, no, no. That day going, um, Lil Myrtle and Uncle Clifford come up, pooching out the woods together. Kiki and high. And giggling, <laughs> giggling and pulling on each uh -huh. other. And who sees this? Lil Myrtle's producer. Yep. And Lil Murder's producer was looking like, ain't this about a bit? So later on, he ends up going behind where Lil Murder was out there getting his skit together, getting his nerves together, and confronted Lil Murder about it and was like, I thought you said that this was a one-time thing. But now you don't mess around and caught feelings? I ain't caught no feelings. He was like, I can tell you don't caught feelings. Yeah, you down in cool. the woods. <laughs> and it's cool. I don't have a problem with how, how you want to be and who you, you know, decide to love. You can't help what your heart want. But it's going to mess up this money, though. I got this guy, this com this scout coming up here to see you. And you got all these women that want to throw it at you. But then you want to chew. So don't let this mess up the money, though. And I was like, 
<sighs> I'm so pissed that the world is like this. Like that, yeah. <laughs> you know. That who you uh, want to be with can affect your paper. That that shouldn't that shouldn't be the case. At you should all. be able to do be with who you want to be with. Other than kids, like I told y'all, kids and yeah, animals. Yeah, no, no, I don't, no, yeah, I don't roll with that. But if you, you know, somebody of legal age, you sure ought to be. But, so yeah. I, I thought it was gonna go way different than that, but there was one piece of that puzzle that kind of sat out to me. He said, "I thought you said it was a one-time thing." So, do they know about the first time? Because only because in my mind, the only one that saw it was was Mississippi. Mississippi. Now, did Mississippi tell y'all about this? So, did Lil Murder confess this to y'all? Or are we talking about somebody Another incident. Different? Yeah. I'm thinking it's another incident. So, yeah. What did y'all get out of that? Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Did y'all did y'all interpret that to mean that they had already known about him and Uncle Clifford? Or was this a, another person yeah. that Lil Murder has been intimate with? And he said that this was going to be a one-time thing. I don't know. I don't know. So now the club is filling up, y'all. And it's time to get this thing on and popping. There is dudes upon dudes. And they really should have named this episode The Exes and the Presence. Right. Because <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yep. That was everybody in your in every stripper's life ended up coming there that night. Yep. We had Mississippi's um boyfriend. And I'm trying to figure out, is he one of the Cow Brothers? Because I swear to God, he, he looks, looks like one like of them Cow yeah, he, Brothers. he looks just like him. And I'm not trying to say all of them look alike, but they look alike. Right. Is, is he a cow? So when he pops up in the club, everybody is pissed. Because they treat Mississippi like a little sister. So what you're not going to do is come up in here where we can finally get at you. And Gidget was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to her. And I'm going to get her to leave you. Her and them babies going to come stay with me. He was like in that trailer. For real, the trailer park. You, you don't even know your girl, do you? She's not going to fit to do that. Uh-uh. No. And then took a, took some money. I'll put it in her. Brazier was like, see you. Wouldn't want to be. I, I was like, Mississippi, you got this this white dude beating on you like that? For real. You you For a real. sister. Sisters, yeah. yeah. Sisters don't put up with no skit like that. Well, they do. <laughs> but it who is. And then we see ah. Autumn's dude. Montavious, Octavius, whatever his name is. We see him coming up there look like a Mississippi pimp. <laughs> and he comes through and um, Diamond is is um, checking everybody with the wand. His wand goes off because the whole dude got a, got a switch that he trying to bring up in the club. So everybody gets in the club. Autumn had already invited Andre because um, Mercedes had said, you know, this is the last time. Nah, yeah, Just go ahead know. and and boom, let him let come, him come here, on through. Make him lust and send him about his way before you decide to just go off and do whatever it is that you're doing. It it, it was bad, y'all. It was <laughs> bad. So y'all know Mrs. Um, Mercedes is very good at, at, at screening the crowd mm -hmm. and seeing... Who has the potential to have some stacks on him and who doesn't? So she immediately goes to Mar Octavius, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh-uh. You know. I got my eyes on somebody else. But here you go. that thing up there. Here you go for your for your time. Just gave her some money. So Mercedes calls Autumn over. Now, Autumn can't see who Mercedes no, is talking yeah. to. So she comes over. When she comes over, she gets close enough and she realizes that it's old dude. She and, like a deer headlights. And I was like, say something. Like, yeah. who the who? I'm like, right here, it's the time to be like, run. Yeah. You got the Do perception something. of everybody Body right in there. Now. Yeah. I'm like, are you planning on going back there with him by yourself? Well, yeah. The VIP room. Come on. Went all the way back there to the VIP room. And earlier, she was already back there with Andre. Andre's wife had ended up calling, 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 calling to the point where she was like, you need to answer that because that might be an emergency. When it was because he answered the phone and she said, where are you? I'm in, I'm in my room. Well, that's funny. I'm, I'm in your room. Where are you for real? Where she at? So I'm at Va. So he goes home and bucks the hell out of his wife and pretty much treated his wife like a hoe on the street. Yep. Bop, bop, bop. But it worked. And I'm going it to shut the It shower. shut her up. It did it for now. So now she has old boy back there. And the first thing he said is, you stole my money. 
And she said, I killed you. No, she said, I shot, shot you. you. Yeah. He said, not good enough. It's like, what? <sighs> so y'all remember when she was calling to see if there was anybody confirmed dead and they could never really tell her whether yeah. or not he was or not. <sighs> I don't know what's about to happen in that room. But then we see Lil Murder. He's back there getting all hyped up. He got his chinchilla on. Yep. His gold microphone. I said, I'm hoping to God that that talk that he had with his producer didn't get in his head. Yeah. And it's going to mess him up for his um for his, his um, performance debut, tonight. Debut, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. But and I, right at the moment where the door was closing, it shut up. Like, oh, yeah. Because I thought... I thought what was going to happen was I thought that that door was going to shut and then and the fight was going to break out between Autumn and the dude. And he, and he was, was going to be performing. He, he was going to see it before he went out there and he was going to run to go to that versus going out there. Because it looked like, because when he kept turning around and looking, it was almost like, like he could see them going into the room. So, I, yeah. But Mercedes can feel that something yeah, ain't no, quite right. right. Yeah. And I said, you need to get back there with your girl. Yeah, man. Y'all better do her like on um, the Players Club. Go back there and whoop something. Yeah, go, hey. go back there about five or ten deep. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, it. next week, I seen some people dressed in black, and I hope my my thing about Diamond yeah. is not right when he took that crystal off and gave it to yeah, her. Yeah, because somebody, some, somebody, somebody, somebody it gone. it not be on Cliff. No, nah, no, nah, they can't. Cause my they, Because they got to come back for another season. If, if that's on Cliff, they can't come back for another season. It's probably not. Probably nah, most likely it's probably not. But y'all, it was a good episode. I I wasn't I wasn't prepared to come on here and do a <laughs> real review. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't know why I love this show so much, but I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah this is yeah this is a really good show. We love it, man. Yeah, straight from the VA. The dirty dirty south. Two up, uh, two down. Holla. Have a good week, y'all.